try to think about the role that they're able to balance the horse's joint and the foot as well. By balancing the foot and getting the symmetry that they want the whole way up the limb, that I'm really a stickler for confirmation. I really, really, really want a well-bred horse. It's impossible for a farrier to undo bad conformation. And when we've got bad conformation, we've got asymmetry or a joint that's overloaded on either a lateral or medial side. So your farrier can certainly help to balance those things out. We were also saying in my farriers when I was um, younger and riding, the horses that were leaning on my farriers the most turned out to have really subtle joint problems and that when he had that hind limb up and he was overloading that opposite limb for such a long time he's really stressing the joint the same way that a farrier would I mean a veterinarian would when he flexes the joint and I think that's a key signal that there's something going on inside of there so I think the farrier really understands the role that those subtle joint problems have in the beginning, even at a standstill. Well, I think that the, the joint environment, especially in aged horses, is really paramount to be on top of your farrier service. I don't like waiting six to eight weeks. I really like a four to six week window because I think the joints go through a change and then you wind up having a radical change backward and then a slow change forward and then a radical change. I think that's very, very hard on the limb. I certainly think that keeping up with that is also key. I think that there's really different kinds of shoes, different kinds of grip. I think it's easy to overload a shoe. I'm not a big fan of really big caulks on a lot of jumping horses. I see huge caulks, sometimes two sets on the lateral side and one on the medial side. Well, we're stopping that natural shearing force that the joint has when it turns, and I think it's making it a lot harder for the farrier to keep the horse sound by using those. So the minimal use that you can have in studs and caulks and that sort of thing, I think really helps take the tear off of the limb. So smaller is better there.